In this video we're going to discuss the relationship between current, voltage, and power. As we've discussed, current is the flow of electrons. It's the rate at which electrons flow through the circuit. We think of this in terms of the number of electrons that flow past a point in the circuit per second. The units of charge are coulombs. There are 6.24, let's write that down, 6.24 times 10 to the 18th electrons per one coulomb, C-O-U-L-O-M-B. Of course, time is measured in seconds, and then we have I is equal to the change in charge per change in time, or in its dif dif differential form, char or current is equal to dQ dt. Its units are coulombs per second, or we typically refer to that as amperes, or amps for short. As we've also discussed, a voltage or a potential is created when energy is expended to separate a positive and negative charge, or V is equal to the change in energy per change in charge. And once again, its differential form is then that's equal to d energy d charge or dw dq. And the units of volts, voltage are, of course, volts. Finally, power is defined as p is defined as the change in energy per change in time, or the time rate of change of energy. In an electrical system, we then can calculate the change in energy per change in time as being the, it's equal to the change in charge per change in time times the change in energy per change in change in charge. The charges cancel and we're left with then power being the change in energy per change in time. But we realize, we recognize this, that here dQ dt, that's just I. And dW dQ, that's just V. And we have then power in, elect in an electrical system is equal to the current times the voltage. So for example, if we've got a 9 volt battery, V equals 9 volts, and it delivers one third of an amp, or I equals one third of an amp, to a light bulb, the power of the light bulb would be P is equal to I times V, which would equal one third times 9, or 3 watts.